Yeah, you're good. Yeah. So, um, Augustine interview, take one. All right, could you do me a favor and say your name and spell it for me? Uh huh. Just say your name out loud. Okay, my name is Augustine Rukeha. Before the support from EWB, Chamuhawi had completely no access to clean and safe water supply. So communities living in Samuhawi, Sabu village, were accessing water for domestic use from unprotected water sources. Engineers Without Borders, our chapter here in Boston, is comprised of engineers at varying stages in their careers. They have come together to try to utilize their technical knowledge, volunteering their time to help um, communities that are wanting to have assistance with some of their problems requiring uh, technical knowledge. Our chapter in particular has been focusing in um, Tanzania for about 10 years. We work with engineering students locally who also are wanting to do the same sort of thing. So we have communities reaching out to us through various means who are needing help with just the basics like having a source of clean water to drink, clean sanitary fa facilities, buildings for education. When you speak in the African context, when you speak of water issues, you definitely speak of a woman plus girls. So in a few years ago, it would be, you could see girls going with their, their mothers to look for water. And it could take even more than three hours looking for water to bring at home. And that makes the girls reach at home tired. And when they become tired, it becomes difficult for them to attend the school. But those who, who manage to go to school, it becomes difficult to listen to teachers very carefully and get the teachings. My name is Mike Stover, and my role is the lead project engineer. My concentration is the water supply aspect. So we started our relationship with Chim Hawi in 2019. Uh, the first phase of the project was to drill a borehole, a well, um, for the community to draw water from and that uh, was something that we designed and we um, constructed that in October 2020. Uh, at that time we also trained the village on managing the water system so we helped them develop a community-based water supply organization or CBWSO. So that gave the community members clean pure water to drink uh, instead of going to the river where they had been collecting water in the past and the, and the river water was full of contamination like bacteria that uh, typically made people sick. Already there are some quick effects which have come shortly after the drilling of the Chamuhawi borehole. Among those is the workload for women moving far away searching for water has been reduced. Some of the stuff that I've worked on is uh, coordinating the household surveys for Mukitani. We did the survey again in 2019 to see what kind of progress we've made in the community and what kind of impact we've made in the community, which was pretty good. Um, overall, it seems like there's been less deaths and more people actually graduating, so that was a great feeling from the survey. The rest of the team in EWB is doing uh, similar work in another village of Mukitani, so they have a number of things going on in that village. Uh, part of it, some of it is with water supply. Uh, there's also a women's latrine project going on in Mukatani. Uh, there's an irrigation project going on um, and some other things. Uh, plans for a, a, what's called a dispensary uh, for women's uh, medical needs and things like that. We have um, Engineers Without Borders Boston, which is ewbboston.org and there you can find information about all of our projects and then also ways in which you could either join in to help with the projects or to donate money, which of course is very welcome. Water is life. Um, there's really nothing more important than access to clean and, and pure water, safe water. So that's, that's why we're here doing this work. Mm -hmm.